Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host Carly Applin and this is the show all about snowmobiling. Now if you're a snowmobiler who rides Fox, then we have the how-to on setting up your Fox shocks that come equipped on your Articat Pro Cross and Pro Climb chassis. Take a look. Jeff Fisher here and I'm at Articat's Mountain Test Facility. Today we're here to talk about the Fox Float 3s that come on Articat's Pro Climb. Joined with me today is Rick Strobel, Fox's race manager as well as technical expert. Also I have Rob Kincaid and Dave McClure who are Articat's backcountry experts as well as hill climb racers. And what we're going to do is going to talk with these guys about real world situations with your Fox Shocks as well as all the technical with Rick. So we got this brand new Arctic Cat. Rick, what's the first thing I do when I bring it home? First thing you gotta do is you gotta get the weight off of the skis or off the track. A couple ways you can do that is either by lifting the sled with a sled lift or you can roll it from side to side, whatever ski that you're working on or rear track shock you're working on. So Rick, we got the sled lifted up. Can you show us the proper way to set the air pressures in the shocks? Sure can. First thing you have to do is remove the cap on top of the shock absorber. Next you wanna do is you wanna hook up the hose onto the shock. Now that we have the pump hooked up to the shock, you see that the gauge has risen. We recommend starting pressure on this sled is the 90 PSI at room temperature or in your shop. So now that you've showed us the proper way to set the front shocks, is it, is it pretty much the same deal for the rear? And uh, where do we start as far as the pressure? Yeah, it, it's the same way to adjust the rear shock. The recommended starting point on the rear shock is 150 PSI at room temperature. Now we have Articat's HCR, which HCR has Fox Float 3 with the Evo Chamber. What is the Evo Chamber, Rick? Evo Chamber is an extra chamber. It allows for more adjustability. So in other words, you're saying guys like Dave and Rob could really appreciate the tunability? Yeah, definitely. A guy like Rob, you know, he can adjust the Evo Chamber differently for his riding style compared to myself or anybody else in the general riding public. So Rick, what's the difference between the Evo and the, the Float 3 that we talked about earlier? Evol chamber is the main difference. You have two chambers now instead of one. So when you're saying two chambers, does that mean that there's air in both chambers? Evidently, there's two Schrader valves. Yeah, exactly. You have chamber number one, which is your Evol chamber. That would be the first one you'd fill. And you have chamber number two, which is your second chamber. That's your main pressure chamber. I like to ride a little bit harder and a little bit bigger than everybody else. So. I've always ran about 170 pounds of air in my Evol chamber and about 90 in chamber number two. What's your recommendations on that? The recommended factory settings for this on the HCR is 85 and 150 is where we recommend to start them at. All right guys, well we've done enough talk here in the shop and you guys have showed us how to put these together. And I think it's time that we go out on the mountain and do a little bit of riding. Okay, Dave, now Rick wants to make some changes. What do you think it needs? What do you want to try to have it do? You know, I think we just need to take the air pressure down just a little bit, so it's uh, gonna roll into the mountain a little bit more, make it easier to side hill. How much, you know, now to let out, what would be an increment amount? You know, a large adjustment would be about five pounds, a small adjustment would be about two and a half pounds. Now, Rob was saying he wanted to get up, you know, he was pounding the trails, it felt great, but now he wants to go side hill. He wants to soften it up a little bit, get it to roll a little more. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the air pressure about five to 10 pounds in the Evol chamber. That'll allow him to just to get in the hill a little bit easier, make it roll up just a little bit easier for him. So what do you think, Rob? Well, I really thought it was awesome today. That Float 3 Evol is phenomenal. It hammers the holes, it side hills, and it's so easy to adjust. I couldn't believe how we could just do a minor adjustment and I was just kicking butt out there. It's awesome, Rick. I'd like to just thank Fox for teaching us as athletes and you know the consumers at home how easy it is with these shocks. Okay, it just shows the commitment Fox has to show everybody and educate the consumer as well as the racers on how to properly set their shocks. To optimize our ride, redefine our limits, and go out and have fun. Taking the time to dial in your Fox shocks to match your riding style only makes you a better rider. More to come on Sledhead 24-7. Don't go anywhere.